Late last year, we started to see a cluster of unusual pneumonias uh, come up in China, and that's when we first started to get an indication that there might be some sort of new, novel, emerging infection that was going on. And as we were following the uh, progress of this cluster of unusual pneumonia illnesses in China, um, there was more information that was evolving, and then subsequently, um, scientists were able to identify this novel coronavirus. Well, with this COVID, this uh, novel coronavirus illness, we're seeing a lot of um, individuals with severe respiratory illnesses. So um, a lot of the cases that we're seeing have fever, shortness of breath, cough, a lot of lower respiratory tract illnesses, which are a little bit different, uh, a little bit more severe than what we've been seeing with uh, your routine respiratory virus illnesses. Currently, uh, in the U.S., we are looking at different criteria um, for um, COVID illnesses. And uh, for now, the criteria are looking at individuals with a history of exposure to um, uh, like the hot zone, Hubei province in China, um, or contact with individuals who are confirmed cases of COVID, um, and with clinical presentation of uh, fever and uh, respiratory tract illness that include uh, 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 fever, cough, shortness of breath. Currently, the care is supportive. There are no treatments that are available for uh, managing COVID other than supportive care, um, treating the symptoms uh, of this illness. Well, you know, as with other respiratory illnesses, we want to ensure that people follow those common sense uh, things that we do um, with, uh, for instance, when we're in the middle of respiratory virus season, um, covering your cough, um, making sure that you stay home when you're sick, uh, making sure that you um, go see your healthcare provider if you're concerned about your health, and to give a call to your healthcare provider ahead of time so that they can be prepared for your coming.